Hello, it's Regis for a short presentation on Aegis 8 working with Stratus 4.5 codename Ponyo. I'm going to show you two out of three new functionalities I really wanted to show you because they're very important and they're showing the direction of where we are going on making the integration between Aegis and Stratus world class number one. So first rule I want to show you is inside Aegis 8 now, you know you can open the Stratus plugin, see the different assets in Stratus, load them uh, in a timeline, edit in place directly, growing files, proxies, high res, etc. You can see all the tools in Stratus. You can open all the tools like Ninja Scheduler to see the recording and things like this. Uh, but you know, for some users, I mean, that could be overwhelming to have access to all of this right here in this tiny little window. So the Kobe team has been hard at work to basically create a simpler view of the Stratus database natively from within uh, Edus. So now you will have a choice between going through full-blown Stratus plugin here or simply use the Stratus browser that will let you browse your groups and location in the system and find files that you might want to use and load in your system and play directly. So this has basically the same functionality as the navigator in, in Stratus, but it's basically limited to just the groups and the location. So you don't have to see all the tools and favorites and shortcuts and things like this and so on and so on. So that's the first thing I wanted to show you. The second thing is I'm going to use the source browser, but I could use the Stratus plugin as well, is I'm going to go to groups and show you a new group called Aegis Project. This is the very beginning of what we call Aegis Project Management inside of Stratus. You heard me talking about this for the last few years now, and we've been plowing away, getting there slowly but surely, because it's a very complicated uh, task that we are uh, taking on right now. And this is the very first time that you will see something in the user interface that shows everything we've been working on and, and show the direction on where we are going with Aegis project management inside of Stratus. So here I can see all the Aegis projects that have been created. You can see all of them here. I can look at them here. I can see folders with sub projects and, and so on and so on. And for each project, you're going to be able to look at the project and see the different sequences that have been made, the different beans and the assets that are using those beans. And for instance here, if I want to take this sequence from this Aegis project, it's not the same project I'm working on right now, but I'm working on a project called Regis Archive 2. Inside that project, I'm going to copy and import that sequence that's coming from a different project. Here's that sequence here. It's a nested sequence. If I double click, here we go. Here you see the, the sequence coming from the Stratus database natively using Stratus basically as a way to share sequences between different editors. Uh, this is a very, very cool functionality. This is the first uh, functionality that we are exposing from Aegis Project Management in Stratus. This will be released in Stratus 4.5 and there will be way more functionality being exposed in a subsequent release for Aegis Project Management inside of Stratus. Thank you.